All right, so what we were doing today is we are going to deploy FlowFuse on an Ubuntu server via Docker as fast as possible. I already have Docker installed. I went through that and did that beforehand, and I followed along this instruction set here, which is install Docker uh, via Ubuntu, and I followed along the install using the apt repository, so it's already pre-installed. We're going to set up our DNS first, um, which actually, let me just check real quick. I think, so I already have it set up as a DNS, but I'm using Pi-hole as my DNS resolver uh, with my local network. The Ubuntu server is living on my server, and we'll go through that exercise real quick. But uh, the first things we need to do is I'm actually going to show you what that DNS is set up like, or at least let's go over to the following the instructions. So I'll link this all, um, but basically FlowFuse docker install, install docker. And clear, right, let's say sudo nano, actually I don't need super user, um, nano 03. And we're just gonna put a hashtag in front of this and exit and then save. And then I'm going to restart my DNS. Yeah, and so what I'm basically my purpose is is to show you that cat um, 03 is uh, graze.flowfuse, graze-flowfuse.com, and I'm going to show you that that doesn't resolve. I hope <laughs> so. We're going to ping uh, graze.flows.com. And in theory, I should not resolve this. It's, yep, exactly. It doesn't does not know what that IP address is. So going back into this, um, oh, I'm into uh, nano 03 conf and save yes. So now running it locally, I need to restart my Pyholes DNS resolver. Um, if you're curious about, I'm using this on RAID, and it's running as a container on my own RAID. Uh, but once you get inside of that configuration file of Pi-hole, you're going to look for DNS mass.d. Uh, and you'll see things like this, and you're just going to make a new file. Uh, in this particular case, I've got two of them. One, I have two uh, FlowFuse servers, or I will have two FlowFuse servers running after this. And... Um, what we do did is we just create a new file uh, named at 03-flowfuse.conf. We can see that information here and resolved. We're going to restart the resolver. And now when I run ping graze-flowfuse.com, little bit of, so now it resolves to that IP address. One thing that makes your life a little bit easier just to keep in mind is when you create this DNS um, domain, pick one that doesn't exist. Uh, you'll run into, it just makes your life a little bit easier. I'm sure there's ways you can do it so it's like a one that's like overlapping something else, but that just don't do that. Make your life easier. So I'm using graze-flowfuse-flows or graze-flows.com. All right, and we can see that nothing is running here. So now we've resolved and um, that IP address. Now what we want to do is go into the server, which is this one, this dot one five nine, and we are going to CD into the OPT, and then we're going to download. We'll go to the instruction real quick so you know exactly what I'm doing. So we've done this first step, and in this particular case, we picked graze-flowfuse-flows.com and now we need to in install you click on this link and it opens up here we're going to right click on source copy link and say wget and then paste that information and then we see ls and we should whoop i remember i've got to do sudo super sudo and basically loads it ls there it is clear and so now we need to expand that so we say sudo tar dash xvf v space and it expands it and we're just going to see that real quick clear and then ls dash l so you can kind of see the permissions and things like that nothing too crazy now going back over the documentation 
we need to change some configurations within these files. So to match that new DNS that we just that new domain that we just created. Um, so cd into Etsy. Oh, so first cd into the cd v to oh no cd into Docker. Wow, Docker, and then cd into Etsy. And then we're gonna sudo nano flow <sighs> YAML. And we're gonna change these configurations right here. So where it says my forge, or in this particular case it says example, we're gonna replace everything that says dot example with dot my forge. All right, so first one's first, or not my forge, we're gonna change it to the domain that we selected in this step up here, which is graze-flows. So graze-flows.com and then graze-flows.com. Gonna leave that one, we can do quick find, and we're gonna look for example dot com and there's one more graze dash flows and we're going to do a quick find where we say graze dash flows make sure we didn't do any mistakes there's one oh see i knew it graze dash flows we missed that top one we need to have an s up there so we're going to do another find make sure we got them all there's three we've changed three so we can exit save it I'm going to cd back into the root directory of the docker compose and the next thing we need to do is to edit the docker-compose.yaml so sudo docker oh nano docker compose.yaml and we need to find example.com and we're going to change all these we're not too worried about the ones that are we're not going to be setting up ssl or anything like that we're going to keep it as simple as possible so you can get it up and running you can do the ssl later if you'd like all right here's our first one so it's graze um dash flows and that should be it right yeah it's graze dash flows where is it okay yeah graze dash flows dot com there it is. Find the next one. There should be four in this file. Yep. Graze dash flows. The one right below. Even though it says list encrypt, we're just going to change everything for future. If we ever change, it's not going to hurt it. So we shouldn't see any more that's not commented out. So there's that. We're going to do another graze-flows.com and make sure that all matches. Yep. And enter one, two, three. Ooh, one, two, three. I did it again. Missed the S. So this is why I'm always double checking. It's very important you get this very right, too, because just changing your domain is not something you want to do afterwards. So got it right now. Going to save it. Going to clear everything out. Now that we've done that, we're skipping the HTTPS optional. Let's encrypt wildcard TLS. We don't care, don't care. And now we're, the first thing we need to do is pull the FlowFuse node red container. And it's going to run through that. Now we're running the last command. Um, I tried to run it, but I didn't have it set up with uh, sudo. And now it's pulling the rest of the containers down and going to start start everything up for us. All right. So we'll just give it just a second. And then if we click refresh, come on now.
Perfect. So basically now you have um, flow few set up now.